Park Street. Tell you what, every. Oh, honey, that was close. Honey, where are we and what are we doing? We are in Sydney. We started in Brisbane, where I held a koala for the first time. We then drove down the coast, stopping in Port Macquarie, Port Stephens, and Newcastle. Before arriving in the city proper, we stopped at the Sydney Koala Sanctuary just in time for their koala show. To be honest, while I like how it seemed that they designed the sanctuary around the native trees, it was a bit run down and I was concerned that the koalas may not be cared for well. The koala show was actually the opportunity to enter their enclosure and get up close and personal. Although not allowed to touch them, we still had a great time and took some amazing pictures. And as for their condition, having learned at Billabong Zoo what to look for in a healthy koala, these ones looked fine. I'll say that our entry into Sydney was less than stellar. In fact, it was quite nerve wracking. Park Street. Tell you what, every. Oh, honey, that was close. Uh, we are going to be taking Uber once we get to our uh, hotel. This is uh, a little too hectic. But once we parked and checked into our hotel, it was time to explore. While exploring the first night in town, we heard church bells and followed them to St. Andrew's Cathedral, the oldest cathedral in Australia. Moss to a flame, Denise and I are drawn to a church that's playing bell music. Oh, yeah. It sounds kind of like Christmas music, so we're going to check it out. We were amazed that the music was coming from actual bells and not a carillion, which is electronic. Look in that open window. Up there, you can see the ropes moving. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. That was awesome. What a fantastic church. Yeah, very nice. We learned that it was open to the public during the day, so the next day, it was our first stop. Next, we decided to take a walk through Hyde Park. And as is so typical of our adventures, we stumbled upon what we both feel is one of the most amazing memorials we've ever seen, the Anzac War Memorial. Anzac stands for Australia New Zealand Army Corps, and even today, Australians and New Zealanders refer to each other as Anzacs. The Combined Army Corps was founded in World War I when the two countries fought together, their first battle being at Gallipoli. This memorial is to those soldiers who fought and died during World War I. We only had about a day and a half scheduled in Sydney, and unfortunately Jeff was a bit under the weather for a portion of our full day. However, we did make it to the Sydney Opera House. It honestly wasn't high on my list, but you really can't visit Sydney and not visit the Opera House. We walked around the entirety of the building, which is much larger than I thought it was. We were able to see a bit of the inside as well, and it really is a beautiful building. Our next stop is 1,500 miles north, Cairns and the Great Barrier Reef. If you thought this was a quality video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video on our amazing Australia adventure. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you have a quality day.